Francesco Lombardi's mansion. Now, to most of Europe, he's an oil giant. But he's one of my biggest arms competitors. And my ex. What's up, power fans of YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about Norma, who she was, and what her 30 days trial means to Tariq and his crew. Now, if you haven't seen my recent videos yet on episode 5, do check them out in the description below and the video on why Redman left Power Series. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, let's get straight into our topics. Tariq, Braden, and Kane were given 30 days to prove themselves or Rick's dying by Norma the first time they met. Boys. You bought yourself exactly 30 days to prove your point. Now, if I don't see a profit, you'll end up like this sad soul. She made this clear to them after they desperately convinced her that they could replace Mecca and even better. Now, after meeting their $1 million KPI, selling some drugs and helping her retrieve a recording that was planted by Mecca in her ex-husband's house, she finally lifted a 30-day trial ultimatum on them. You're more clever than I gave you credit for. That trial period I mentioned, consider it complete. Safe to say that they are free from getting killed, but they still owe Norma and will have to work for her. But clearly, this decision by Norma wasn't the great news for Obi if you consider his reaction to her announcement. The guy just wants to kill one of them at all costs. Now, I also have a feeling Tariq and his friends might keep this information from the Tahadas so that they will still think that their lives are still on the 30 days clock with Noma. Now, this episode has revealed another information with regards to Noma and even Mecca. So, from my observation, I think Mecca and Noma met when she was still with her ex husband. The force behind Mecca and how he's able to make things work with the security might have attracted Norma to him. Hypothetically speaking, it's safe to say that she was probably caught cheating with Mecca and their marriage became sour. So Mecca probably won obviously, but left something behind that neither Norma nor Mecca could go back to the man's mansion for it, which is this recording device. Now we all knew Mecca as an informant, so I believe he entered Francisco's house doing both business and getting information on him at the same time, hence planted a recorder under his seat for evidence. Now hypothetically speaking, let's say Norma had no say when she was with her husband and probably wanted her freedom and possibly realize the power Mecca possessed. They both worked against her husband, he probably figured out, and they ran away to do business together. Then they started dating officially. That is why Norma introduced Mecca as both her first lieutenant and her fiancé. Mecca was my first lieutenant. His drugs belonged to me. And more importantly, he was my fiancé. Now, Norma knowing her ex-husband and what he does, she wanted him out as her competition. And because she and her people can't get close to the man, she needed something on him to break his business and become overall distributor of guns. This recorder is the only way she will be able to get rid of her competitor. So the idea was to get a recording for either blackmailing the man or exposing him. Turn of events happened that Tariq will have to exchange this same recording with the man for his friend. Even though Norma's plan was to get the recording quietly, she ended up taking out the competition completely. Now, this man happens to be her daughter's father and clearly, this is another way of telling us that Norma is a savage and can kill whoever she wants regardless the relationship involved. Now, I fear for Tariq and his crew because with the kind of skill set they possess, they won't be able to convince Norma moving forward that they have no clue as to what happened to Mecca. The police have not made any arrests regarding his murder. You two haven't heard anything, have you? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just a matter of time for her to press some button on one of them to tell her the truth about what really happened to Mecca. Now, let me know what you think so far in the comments section below. Now, moving on and still on Norma, Obviously, this recording will not be useful to her anymore since the problem has been solved the hard way. But something tells me this recording has a backup with Ify and Tariq. Maybe they want to look deep into the content of the recording to see if they will have something on Norma in exchange for their freedom. Now, talking about getting out, using Norma's daughter as a bait might be a crazy idea and with how well informed Norma is, I doubt she will leave her daughter out there unsecured for Tariq and Ify to get close to her. But well, we are yet to know how deep Norma even loves her child considering who the father was and how he ended. But I believe if not all, 
Every mother will love their child irrespective of who the father is enough to give the child maximum protection. That again brings to my question, do you think the child is with Norma as we speak? Or you think the child was in a man's custody? Let me know what you think about this, but for me, it could be that Norma left the daughter behind considering how powerful and protected the man is. Now my second question is, is it even possible for Tariq and co to get out from Norma's control? I feel that what is about to happen between Tariq, Afi and Brady with regards to Lauren will not even stop them from working together because of Norma. In spite of the big betrayal ahead, they will be inclined to work together for their own sake but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now some people are with the view that Afi could be Norma's daughter because of the orphan history associated with Afi and the fact that there is no relative or no one to link to her. Now, if you ask me, it is early days to even conclude on this theory. But then, if this theory happens to be true, that it means Norma left Ify since she was a kid, like in this picture we are now seeing. But then, have a little concern. How come Ify couldn't recognize her parents when she saw them? She has met Norma one-on-one, -on -one, so clearly, the two of them couldn't recognize each other. That aside, I believe she saw the man's picture. Well, maybe she was too young to even remember her father. But clearly, there is one puzzle missing. The man hasn't placed his eyes on Ife. So maybe he could have recognized his daughter if he were to see Ife at the event. But like I said, it's still early days and this sound a little bit mysterious. But maybe that's why Courtney Kem once said that if she wants to do another spin-off, she would like to do a spin-off of Ife and tell her backstories. So either ways... There could be an element of truth in what people are saying so far. But I don't know about you, but let me know what you also think about what people are saying concerning Norma and Efe that Efe is Norma's daughter and Norma is Efe's mother. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.